today is a very exciting day. We are filming three short films and they're all going to be against a green screen so I think I can do them pretty quickly but I wanted to take you guys along with me through the process and everything but first I wanted to show you some of the clothes that I got sent, not sponsored, just cute, that I'm going to be doing a video with. So they're all from Retro Stage and I will say these are more of a costume quality versus like an everyday wear kind of thing if you know what i'm talking about so they're much more costumey this is a strawberry bikini it's like a tool layer and then like a strawberry glitter little emblem all over so i'm thinking for this outfit i want to do coming out of like a little valentine's day chocolate box and because valentine's day just passed i feel like it's a good time to do it but basically i'm going to green screen myself inside of this box and show myself walking out so that's kind of the idea with this okay so next we have this dress top combo that's giving very much secretary so that is the the video concept going in that area so it's a layered situation so i have this dress it goes over top of it. It's kind of like a tweed type material. And then this top goes underneath and I actually really like it. It's super fun, very 60s, and the collar is ruffled. And lastly, the third video, I'm recreating this ad right here. If you've been following me for a little while, you've seen that I do this thing where it's like getting ready for a shot type thing. So it's like a countdown until they shoot a magazine cover. I'll put it right here so you know what I'm talking about. But basically, I'm going to start doing that with ads as well, like print ads from the 60s and 70s. And as you can see, this lipstick bullet from Winky Lux looks so much like that ad. So I'm really excited to recreate it. And thank you, Winky Lux, for sending me some really cute stuff. What is so amazing about this apartment is I can clip my green screen onto the sides here. It is wonderful because I don't have to set up my frame every time. Okay, so in the first outfit, it's a super cute strawberry bikini, and the only thing with it that you will not see on my BTS on Instagram is that the straps are a little bit too long, so I ended up using a clamp. <laughs> this is what I do when things are too big. So the process for this video will be shooting against the green screen and then taking some pictures of this box in various positions that I will cut out and then merge when I am editing. So it should be pretty simple i would say and it's going to be a play off of valentine's day which i hope you guys aren't tired of i'm a little tired of it because it is the week after but i need to get this video out so one more it is well looks like it was the last of the chocolate but at least my outfit still looks cute i always forget until i'm filming that sometimes my outfit has a little bit of green in it and this is one of those times but i think it will be okay I think. I've learned some editing tricks, but yes, no green on the green screen, but the strawberry stem has green. I was shooting TikToks earlier, and that is why my That Sunny Show discs are out, but it is time to move on to the second video, and that is with this set. And I'm going to take this wig off. I'm not quite sure what wig I'm going to wear yet. I'm thinking more of a beehive 60s situation. I think that's very secretary of me, so I think I'm going to do that. But the idea behind the video, it's against the green screen as well, that I'm a secretary and somebody is checking in and I'm like, who are you type thing. And then I realize what company they're from, the company that makes these clothes. And then I'm like, oh, come through, come through. So it'll be cute. Okay, I've been walking around for a couple minutes and I cannot find my wig head. I don't know how far it could have gone. Oh, there she is. I guess I must have put on the wig in the bathroom so she was hiding in there. Okay, so I just put on the second outfit and I really love it actually. I can see myself wearing this out. The top is so silky and nice and it has this little ruffle. And then this overdress thing, I will say, was extremely hard for me to put on. So I'm gonna have a fantastic time taking it off. But there's a little zipper. I almost think the zipper should go down to here not to here, but anyway, it's super cute. I feel really comfy, really confident, and I'm really excited to film it. And there's no green, so we're winning on that front. We are now approaching the wig situation. And I think, like I said, did I say it? I think I want to go with this 60s beehive. It's giving grumpy secretary, it's giving I'm underpaid, 
and I want to stick it to the man and I love the side curl so let me go put this on okay I think we made the right choice I think it is so cute again the side curl is amazing my head on the other hand does feel like it is being squashed like a melon and I think it's because of the wig cap because it is so tight on my head so I cannot wait to take this thing off but I really like how it looks I really wish I could do this with my own hair but I have literally no idea where you would start with this name do I know you Pearl? This is my favorite part. Oh gosh. Do you see this? My head is like, ah, I'm free. Okay, so now moving into the last short film of the day, we are doing the vintage ad with the Winky Lux lip. What is this called? Skinny Plump Demi Matte Lipstick and First Crush. So here, I'll show you this shade really quick because it's actually quite pretty. I guess I should be wearing it for the video anyway, right? So, and I think one of the selling points about this lip product is it's almost like a liner as well because it is so controllable and it's like really fine on the ends. Super pretty. I really like this shade actually. And it does last a while. I have worn it a couple times. I'm also really happy that I do not have to change my clothes because it is just the neck up. So I think I have enough neck space, which I'm really happy about because I'm getting a little tired. Okay, I'm sitting on the floor getting ready to film. But the idea with this video is that it's counting down and I have to get ready really quick to take the shot for the cover. And there are people coming in, trying to do my hair, trying to do touch-ups, but I just push them to the side and then get ready and take the photo. So that's the idea. And I think what I'm doing, because I have all of these products that Wiki Looks sent me, those can be the products that are being kind of shoved into the frame, like, oh, let me add a little bit more blush. Or a little bit more lipstick, you know, that kind of thing. This is the blush that Wiki Lux sent me and it is absolutely gorgeous. I have not used it. This is actually the first time I've taken it out of the package, out of the box, because it is so beautiful. And I don't know if I can use this, like really. I don't know, it's just too pretty. So I'll probably just pretend to take a brush on it and put it on my cheek because it is just so beautiful. So I have found that I cannot get this to stay behind my ear. So I'm gonna have to tuck it into the wig, like actually the layer of the wig to get it to stay. But it still doesn't show as much as I want it to, so I might just have to edit it a little bit. A little bit. So I might just have to edit it a little bit for the final cover photo because retouching does happen with the cover photo, so. That might be something I have to do. Okay guys, thank you so much for following me around today. I'm so excited to share these results with you. I hope this gave you a little bit more insight into the filming process. It's nothing fancy. And I love my green screen because it makes it so much quicker. If you have any film ideas that you would like me to try, feel free to leave them down below, DM them to me on Instagram, anything like that. Make sure to subscribe so you can see the results as soon as they come out and I will see you in the next one.